Hey, welcome Grant Cardone here. Welcome back to Whatever It Takes Network. For those of you who are joining this thing, Rise Above the Noise, I have with me Mr. Star Power, Hank Norman. He's with Two Market Media, and he's dropped in from New York, him and his Padna, Padna uh, that acts like a little girl most of the time, Steve Carlos. Uh, they're in town. We're sitting down. You want to tell them about the call we just got off of, Hank? That's unreal. Huh? What, how weird is it, Grant? You have a guy on the phone. You want to bring him business. Yeah. You want to help him in his business. I'm telling the guy, dude, get on my network, right? Give, giving you eyeballs, giving you an outlet to sell. Promoting you, okay? I'm going to let everybody on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, Plus, the world, YouTube know about you. It's already what he does for a job. The name of the network is Whatever It Takes. And what's the cat say? Uh, what did he really say? Don't do, don't use all the details. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> what did he really say? He said, "I what I heard was, eh, eh, I don't know. Right. I got this other so, thing. So, so look, he said, I got this other thing. That's what messed me up. Yeah, I got this other thing. Like, what does that mean? I already have an out. He, he goes, I already have an outlet. Right. So... <laughs> So what? you already have something promoting you over here, so you can't do any other promotions. Okay, so he would tell boss, 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 they sell boss shirts, yep. okay? Okay, you can only have one store in the mall, and that should be your only location on planet Earth. Right, I already got a store. Yeah. Now, you give people advice on star power, how to get become a celebrity, how to get attention. How important is that, Hank, and, and how much did he violate the things that you teach people? Oh, my people? God. See, Getting attention isn't getting attention in your little. So he, maybe he has a storefront, and it is really. Maybe it, let's say it is really big. Yeah. yeah. How does that not like make what's it big? Cool? iTunes. Yeah. Stitcher. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, what? What could it be? Even it, it's huge. Let's say How it's does the biggest. How does that not make your audience, which is brand new to him, right? Something he'd be interested in. How does in your mind? How do you validate saying? Oh, maybe I'm maybe just he so just doesn't want to work though. Maybe that's the deal. Well, that's oh, isn't that always what it is? Is it? Yep. Like you have how many clients? Hundreds 50, of clients. Um, 50? Yeah. Okay. So, and people come to you for what? To move from where they are to getting attention and being known for this thing that they either do or really want to do for their lives and their careers as a business. It, and moving that, it, that's the biggest out. That's why I said that's the biggest one. Everybody knows where they want to be and they're like, I want to be famous and I want people to know me. The amount of effort it takes to move that needle and get that work done is- But dude, how can, you, how, can, how can you give people advice on how to get attention when you dress like a slob? Right. Well, that's how is you that get your freaking baby. deal? Is that your brand? That's how you get attention. I mean, you got a hole in your shirt. I do. Dude. I got two. Got another so one. So you telling people out there in whatever it takes network nation, are you telling them to dress what you want but get attention? Yeah. Sell what you want, say what you want, but get attention? Do you. Have an opinion. Yeah. Show up. Uh-huh. I'm not scared to show up in whatever I'm I, this I dress like I dress and I but I'll do that anyway. I don't I'll be here, I'll be there, I'll wear what it, like it's not about. It's, yeah. I'm not scared. I'm not going to say no. With and and an what do you think about the issue? Because maybe this cat was thinking he's going to get overexposed. I mean, he is on iTunes. I never heard of overexposure, by the way. Uh huh. Elliot Spitzer went from scandal to TV. I mean, right, name right, the right. person that was in the scandal that where all of a sudden it's. Too what was scary. Elliot Spitzer spitting on anyway? <laughs> huh? Wasn't he spitting on something? There's no such thing as overexposed. There's no. There's no such in today's. So day you age. would tell. Let's say it's a. It's a. It's a. Uh, I mean, you're dealing with guys that want to be radio and TV personalities. Yep. How does that translate to business? Does it? What do you mean? How does it? Well, how, how how does the guy a guy wants to create a brand and be a TV and 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 you know radio celebrity? That's his brand and product. But how does that, you know, translate to a guy that wants to start a business or an entrepreneur? Oh, well, first of all, that that's why I asked you. I, I didn't know what you mean, meant because I'm not. I'm not interested in anybody. Just like I, I want fame, or I'm interested in being famous. Like I can't help you. What do you do? What's uh -huh. your business? What's your expertise? Like you got to start with what you do for a living. Like what do you know? Right. Like, what do you know about the world? What's broken with it? What are you fixing? What are you uh -huh. selling already? And then you can easily figure out from there what somebody's passion. So is let's take me. Let's take me. Hey, I want to create a network because I want to. I want to thread the needle between the bullshit I see on Fox from all the white guys. I know you don't like me talking about this and all the stuff I hear from CNN with Anderson Cooper. I want to thread the needle and give people information that can actually help them, not the problems of the world. Cause I don't see how ISIS helps me. Right. It doesn't. Okay. Obviously. So what would you tell me to do more or less of? Well, <laughs> we've had this conversation Come on, many man. times. 
you're the you're already doing all those things which I would tell anybody to do, which is put themselves out there constantly. If if anybody's not following you on Twitter, I don't know how they would end up watching this if they didn't come to find mm-hmm. you or follow you on Twitter. It's that constancy of this is my message, this is how I'm helping the people that are following me. Like you are all about taking that massive action to get your life in order. And then and then what about taking a stand on something? Like I see so many people out there like, I don't know what you stand for when the when the thing's over. Yeah. I mean, if there's not a takeaway, if there's not an idea, the methodology and the thing that you stand for that people resonates with people and they understand it, when you you don't need to be around for people to understand whatever whatever it takes, how uh-huh. it works. Yeah. Rise above. So the you're noise. saying when I finish listening to the guy in the radio show, the the T V uh interview, the three minutes, I need to know where you stood on something. And whether you, I agree correct. with it or not. I hate his guts or oh yeah, he's completely right. I need to know what action he stands for. Uh-huh. And it's so clear that you are about, I mean, whatever it takes as a network started because that's who you are as a person. Yeah. That's how you came up. That's yeah. how you ended up here right, being as right. successful as you are. This cat is Hank Norman. His show is going to be star power. It's going to be freaking awesome. Okay. It's going to be open to subscribers only. Make sure you subscribe. This cat is going to show you how to become a celebrity in your space. We're looking for ex- experts. Okay. We need some black people. We need some Asian people. We need all colors, all races. We need I'm, male, female. Can I say I need, black? I, you can say anything you want. I can say anything. Color doesn't matter because anybody who can show up who has an opinion and totally. knows how to take action and work, yeah, Mr. Cardone will put them on. Dude, I want to put you on. few and far between. Because, because I, don't, I know if I wanted to learn how to buy a house or how to get a bank loan or how to start up a company or how to go out and buy real estate, I don't know where to go today because I got to go through so much garbage to get there. Hank Norman's going to show you how to blow your brand up, okay, how to blow your name up, how to get people on all these mediums, TV, radio, and the Internet to, to know who you are, okay? Check him out. Hank Norman works for a company that he owns, Two Market Media. The show's star power. The network? Whatever it takes, baby. Come on, man.